Hi everyone and welcome to the next edition of the Train and Talk series by Chartered Accountants Ireland. My name is Sinead from the team and we are talking about our training offerings and today I am delighted because we are going to showcase the Certificate in Technology Risk and Data Incident Management and we have course tutor Tony Hughes with us. Tony, you are so very welcome. Thank you so much for joining. How are you today? Hello Sinead, thank you very much for having me. Yes, I'm great. I am so delighted that you're here to give us a bit of an insight into that program and that particular qualification. But first, let's get to know you a little bit better. What about a bit of an introduction? OK, a little bit about me. So I have a long background in governance and risk and compliance with regard to information technology and technology risk. Currently, I'm the director of technology risk and cybersecurity consulting at a company called Anstec IA in Northern Ireland. Um, my background in that is incident response, IT audit, um, consulting strategy, and generally anything to do with strategic risk where technology is involved. And a long history and expertise in the area I know all too well. And obviously, you're working with ourselves. Tell us a bit about the training you do then with Chartered Accountants Ireland. Well, yes, you know, I'm a course tutor on the, the Certificate in Technology Risk and Data Incident Management. And the course itself is is designed as a as a journey through all the various aspects of what people commonly refer to as cyber security. We don't like to use the term in the title because it, it tends to be a frightening word. And what we try to explain to people is how simple the things are, the component parts are you need to put together. So what we do is we talk about it being a lot of small things done very well, and that gives you an end-to-end -end process. And the, the course itself is, is really designed around five modules that run across a period of five months. And each module builds up and compounds on the knowledge you've had previously, and it starts with an introduction to information uh, technology risk. Okay. It talks about cybersecurity risk. It talks about the overlap between the two. And it takes you on a journey through what are the governance structures you need to understand? What are the assets you might have at risk? What are the, what are the, the vectors? What are the, the ways and the means, the how people will attack those assets? And of course, we talk about the actors. Who are the bad people who want to do that harm? And having gone through that, we'll talk about standards based approach to information security and technology risk. We'll delve into the, the, the world of the ISO standards, like 27001 on information security management systems. We'll talk about the network information security directive. We'll touch on certain regulatory aspects such as GDPR likely in, in the first modules. Gordon Wade, who's the course tutor and also a lawyer and a, a, a counsel for privacy with, with an international company, he will talk more about it in depth later in the course. But we do run through the aspects of GDPR and, and the twin base of privacy and security mm -hmm. because you cannot design security without privacy. You have to do them together. Um, no one really gets fined for having bad information security, but you will get fined if that bad information security leads to a breach of information involving personal data. And we all know, we've all heard about the eye-watering fines from, mm -hmm. from regulators, both North and South, from the ICO mm -hmm. and the DPC of you know 20 million and 10 million, although we're not seeing the outworkings of that. And again, of course, we'll talk about things like sectoral sectoral analysis, such as in the financial services. What do the Central Bank of Ireland say about technology risk, about information systems, about cybersecurity? How do they talk about managing those? And where the first two modules of the course bring you up to is all of the component parts of a preemptive security program up to the point where you may or may not have an incident. And then we bring in Will O'Brien, who is a, a forensic director in a, in a big four company. And Will will talk you through what happens if you have an incident. How do you how do you deal with that? What are the first steps you take? How do you, how do you understand when to actually bring in assistance? What you can do to do no more harm in the first pass, and bring you right up to the point where you've managed the incident and everything has started to calm down a little bit, and you're getting back to business as usual. Gordon will then come in in the, in the module four, and in module four we'll go through all of those regulatory GDPR privacy aspects. What legally do you need to do? What legally are you required and obliged to do? And obviously, what are the implications if you don't do those things? Module five, we bring all the learning together. And module five is effectively a scenario. And the scenario is a real life simulation based upon a number of the incidents that the three tutors have all been involved with. We merge them together into one single incident. The idea being is that we want you to take it on with all the knowledge you've learned. Mm -hmm. And basically, we, we'd use a motto, fail in the classroom, not in the boardroom. Yeah. Give it to the because we understand that data incidents and technology risk, when it does go wrong, there are three distinct organizational responses. The obvious one when you talk about IT is technical. You need to have a technical response. Yeah. The two that are lesser known are the organizational and the psychological response. The organizational in the early modules talks about how do you build up to the point where you have strong organization, strong GRC, strong risk management, and therefore you can take on and actually be aware of what might happen and what will happen if the worst does. 
psychologically we bring you on that journey through the entire program how do you get to the point where if you have an incident that decision paralysis you have in the first hour after an incident because you feel like a victim and therefore you think I'm more concerned about why I might have been involved in this incident than trying to do the right things to correct it. So we, we try to take people through that psychological journey. So if the worst, and we hope it never does, happens to anyone who's on the class, they know exactly what works, what doesn't work, what's distracting, and also what may be of value to them in terms of policy, procedure, and process when they go back to their organizations. So much packed into that program, Tony. And I suppose a, a popular question folks tuning in might have is, how is it delivered? How do folk um, engage with this program? Well, it's engaged by it's it's a virtual program. Yeah. It's done by it's done across Zoom and Teams. Done by by video, but there's it doesn't stop there. We talk about the mentoring aspect, so we do have a LinkedIn group as well. So you'll join into that LinkedIn group. So there is there is peer peer knowledge there. People can share information on LinkedIn. Yeah. People can ask questions on LinkedIn. There is a Moodle platform with a lot of the knowledge base. There is a book. There is other materials of pre recorded sessions, okay. uh, so you can learn all of that. And also you can reach out to the tutors themselves across that LinkedIn platform. We can discuss it iteratively to you across the program. The exam itself then, how do you pass the, how do you pass the course? It was one of those questions. Yeah, what how's it assessed, end? Tony? A popular one. <laughs> how do you get a certificate? There is a, a question bank at the end. It's a multi-choice question, uh, an answer session. It's The exam is sat online as well on the Moodle platform. Okay. And that's how you pass and fail. And that bank is refreshed every year we do the course to make sure that all the information is relevant, it's timely, it's up to date. And, and, and it's something useful for you. Is that value add when you take it back to your organisation? Brilliant. And who's it for, Tony? I mean, it's, it's, it sounds like there's so much in it. It's, you know, a really popular course. Who's the ideal candidate for this? Who attends? We have had all comers. It's one of those courses that if you're accountable for technology risk, if you're responsible yeah. for technology risk, but not necessarily accountable. Mm -hmm. If you're in a position, for example, you could be an IT auditor who wants to advance their knowledge. Mm -hmm. You could be a compliance officer who wants to advance their knowledge. You could be just a practitioner in a firm. Remember, yeah. technology risk is not just about, oh, what happens to me in my organization? Sometimes, particularly if you're a practitioner in, in for example, accountancy or law or any other professional services firm, your clients will come to you and they will seek advice. And you, they, you may be their go-to person in the event of an incident. So we, anyone who wants to bring this back to their own organization, and we have it everything from, from a two-person company to large international companies come and do this from their from their C-level suite to people who just have to manage their IT on the ground and want an understanding of what the art of the possible is within their job role. So it's, it's really for anyone. I think that the crux of this is it's not an overtly technical qualification. You're not expected to have hands-on skills in programming or delivery. We talk about technical, organizational, psychological. Technical is one third of the program. And even that technological, we'll make you aware of the constructs of technology you need to be, you need to know. Okay. We don't necessarily have to teach you those, but you need to ask the right risk-based questions at a board level, at an organizational level, or to your suppliers and be and be armed with the knowledge to think, oh, is that answer realistic or is that answer what I expect to get? That's what the course teaches you. Fantastic. No, it's important to touch on that. So thanks for stepping us through that. I suppose in summing up, Tony, because this is intended to be a bit of a, a teaser, uh, um, a sort of a, a step through very briefly on what it's all about. What would you say to someone considering it? I think when you're considering technology risk, there, there was a time when we could avoid technology and we could do business with, without technology. I think now it's so embedded, it's so progressive, it accelerates not only in its in its inter in how it invades our, our everyday working life but also that that pace of technology so i think it's we're way past the point where we can't embrace the technology the other factor is that you have to manage risk in your organization most of us deploy technology so we have to understand firstly what risks is technology managing on our behalf and how do we ensure it's doing it correctly and also what are the risks of introducing that technology and the management of that technology also introduce there's two types of risk and the course itself is very good at stepping you through those two distinct types of risk, what it's managing and, and how to manage the technology that manages the risk. Um, and I think with, with that said, anyone who thinks they might need this course should definitely look at the syllabus in detail yeah. and, you know, and, and should definitely consider it. Absolutely. And we're more than happy to take questions if, if folks tuning in maybe have some further um, queries that they want answered. But Tony, for today, thank you so much for coming along and giving us that flavour of it all. I've really appreciated your time. And we will pop the details on the next slide in terms of the upcoming courses and how you can get involved and also our contact details. Tony, until we chat again, thanks a million. Thank you very much. and looking forward to seeing some of the people who view this on, on the course really soon. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, everyone.